Well, the clash at the Parc des Sports saw a clash between the two teams either side of the relegation trapdoor, with five points separating them. Evian had produced back-to-back -back wins coming into this match and won the corresponding fixture by a single goal. Valenciennes would once again look to Majid Varis, who inspired them to victory last week versus Rennes and closed the gap between the sides to just two points. Well, Evian knew a win would go a long way to clinching their survival and made the early running. Well, great strength shown by Kevin Berigo. The Evian striker only denied by Brazilian Magno Noves. Berigo, nine for the season, but denied double figures. But the pace of Juarez was worrying Evian. Jesper Hansen having to come fast off his line to rescue his defense. And it was a tight game with a lot at stake. And the halftime whistle came. It was the sixth meeting in Ligue 1 between the sides. Valenciennes only winning once, with Evian winning the previous two encounters. Well, one had to wonder if the pressure was getting to Pascu Dupré's Evian. As slackness at the back put them in all kinds of trouble. When the ball came back to Vares, he found the bottom corner. 1-0 to Valenciennes. It was a terrific cross from Arthur Masuku and Matteo Dosevi. Initial shot saved by Hansen, but when it came out to the Ghanaian international, his shot on the volley finding the bottom corner. The Ghanaian international pace and strength, again a problem. But this time, Hansen denying him. Well, he had scored now two in two, but denied a brace here. Well, Evian did have a big chance near the end. Solion Cis almost selling out his side. Clark Nsikulu waiting for his chance, but the ball breaking for Nicolas Beneze. But he was unable to find the back of the net in what would have been a vital point in this relegation battle. With the final whistle, there was no more time for Pascal Dupras' side. Two points now, Valenciennes are behind Evian.